All right, so this is the first example I'm going to do where they want us to find a term that contains, uh, in this case, y to the 14th. Okay, I'll have some other problems where you know we may find where they want to find something in terms of x and then when there's a negative sign and all that so and I'm going to do one problem per video so you may want to check the other ones out they should be right around where this one is um, so let's go ahead and get started so we've got x squared plus y to the 22nd and we want to find the, the term that contains y to the 14th well before we get started we need to look at this Okay, this is your binomial theorem. If you have a plus b to the n, then it equals this. Okay, combination n choose 0 times a to the n plus combination n choose 1, a to the n minus 1 times b, and so on. Okay, notice the b is not here. This is like a b to the 0, and b to the 0 is 1, so we just don't put it and then you can see the zero here then the exponent on the b it goes to a one and then a two a three all the way to n whatever this exponent is and then you can see that the a that the a term starts with this exponent a to the n and then it decreases each time until it gets to a to the zero which is one so we don't write it Okay. Now, this right here is just this written in a little simpler form. And all this means is that we're just taking this and summing it up from 0 to n for r. And you can see that if we plug the 0 in for r here, we get n choose 0 times a to the n minus 0 times b to the 0. And so that's combination n choose 0, a to the n, and then b to the 0 is 1, so we just have this. And you can see this term is this one. And then you could, and then the next one you would just plug the 1 in for r. Okay. All right. So. All right. So let's look and see what we need. Well, we have the term that we have is x squared plus y to the 22nd. And they want us to find the term that contains y to the 14th. Okay. Now you can see we know what n is. All right. So, so we know what n is. Okay. See, we're going to use this to find it. Now we just have to figure out what r is. Okay, well look at this. You see this r here and this r here? Okay, you see the 0 and this is b to the 0. You see the 1, b to the 1. The 2, b to the 2. 3, b to the 3. n, b to the n. Okay, so we know n, which in this case is n is 22. Okay, all right. A is this term, which is x squared. B, this term, is y. Okay, all right. So we want y to the 14th. Well, you see, you see these exponents here? That tells us what r is. So in this case, r is 14. All right. So now, all we have to do is plug all of this into just this right here, and that'll give us the solution. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got combination 22 okay n is 22 r is 14 all right 
times a raised to the n minus r. So a is x squared, so that's times x squared raised to the n minus r, all right, times b, so b is y raised to the r, okay. And so this is combination 22 choose 14 x squared and then 22 minus 14 that's 8 times y to the 14th all right now one thing that you need to understand here you see this exponent and this exponent these these two numbers here have to add up to give us n. And you can see 8 plus 14 is 22. Okay, so that works. So now we have combination 22 choose 14 times x. And then remember, exponents like this, you multiply them. So 2 times 8 is 16. And then y to the 14th. Now for this one, well, we have to we have to calculate this, and I mean these are pretty big numbers here. Doing it by hand using this formula here, n choose r is n factorial over r factorial minus n minus times n minus r factorial. Well. Let me just go over what factorial is. So 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and so on. Okay, I'll put it in the formula, but more than, li but more than likely on this one, you'll just put, punch it into your calculator. Okay, So let's look. So let's just calculate this. So combination 22 choose 14 is equal to 22 factorial over 4, 14 factorial times 22 minus 14 factorial. All right, so 22 factorial, that's 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15, okay, and then times 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way to 1. But let's just write it instead of 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, write it as 14 factorial. And then you can see it'll cancel with this one. And then that would be times 8 factorial. All right, so the 14 factorials cancel, and yeah, it cancels quite a bit out, but you can see you still have a mess here, okay? I mean, I don't know, maybe multiply that together, divide it by 8 factorial. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I would do that. I would just punch it into my calculator. Uh, if you have a TI graphing calculator, just look in your manual, and it'll tell you how to punch in the... Uh, tell you how to punch it into your calculator. Uh, the You're going to look for a button or you're going to look for something like this. Like this or it may be in there like this. Okay, I don't use the graphing calculator so it's probably going to be something like this. One of these two. And I know you'll have to hit the math button and then scroll over to PRB and you'll find this. Uh, the scientific calculators, they do it too. The non-graphing ones, they'll do it too. On mine, I have a TI-30X2S, and I, ha I have to hit PR the PRB button on my calculator to get to combinations, permutations, and all that stuff. So uh, the scientific calculators, they have a little case on the front, and that case has a little card in it just look at that card it'll tell you how to punch it in so I'm just gonna go ahead and punch this into the calculator so that's gonna be I'm hitting I'm typing in 22 and now I'm hitting my PRB button and then I scroll over to NCR hit enter and then I type in 14 and hit enter and 
I get three hundred nineteen thousand seven hundred and seventy. That's what this is. And then that's x to the sixteenth times y to the fourteenth. And this would be the term containing y to the fourteenth. Okay. So I hope that helped. Um, sorry the video was so long. Uh, but check out the other ones and you know check them out and give me a like share comment thanks for watching